hello out there welcome again to this tutorial on differential calculus in this video we'll be looking at implicit functions so the function y equal to 3x squared is called an implicit function like in this function y is the dependent variable yx is the independent variable in this function y has been explicitly expressed as a function of x so the value of y depends on the value of x also 3x squared plus y squared is equal to 0 is an implicit function like in this function one variable has not been expressed as function of the other so we can say the value of a particular variable is dependent on the other so we call this type of function as implicit function so in this video we'll be looking at how to differentiate a function of this form we look at the behavior of derivative of some implicit functions so we look at y the derivative of y is the y the x if you have y squared we look at it as product of two functions that's y times y so we now apply the product rule so we hold y and differentiate the second y which gives the y the x plus we hold the second y differentiate the first y gives the y the x so y the y the x plus y the y the x will give us 2y the y the x this gives the derivative of y squared also y cube we look at y cube as y squared y and again we are going to apply product rule to find the derivative of y cube so we hold the first function that's y squared differentiate y we have the y dx plus hold this y we have y differentiate y squared the derivative of y squared is 2y dy dx y times 2y gives 2y squared adding it to y squared gives 3y squared then the y dx that is the derivative of y cube so if we continue like that up till y to the power of n so we'll have the derivative as multiplying by the power that is n y raised to the power n minus 1 and reduce the power by 1 then the y dx such that if you have y raised to the power 8 we have it as 8y raised to the power 7 the y dx and so on so we look at some examples of differentiation of implicit functions so the first example find the derivative of each of the following implicitly we have problem a and b in the first example here so we start from problem a the method of differentiating implicit function is to differentiate term by term so differentiating the first term here we have uh, x squared the derivative of x squared is 2x and the derivative of y squared is 2y the y the x and the constant is equal to zero then we, name, we now make the y dx the subject of this relation first we take this to this side we have 2y the y dx is equal to negative 2x these two here will cancel these two so that the y dx becomes negative x over y which gives the derivative of the function in problem 1a so we go to problem 1b in 1b differentiating this first term here we have a x cube so the derivative will be 3x squared differentiating this y cube we have a 3y squared dy dx this third term will be treated as 
product of two functions we have x squared and y squared where x squared is a function y squared is a function we now use product rule to differentiate this so we hold negative x squared differentiate y squared the derivative of y squared is 2y the y the x since this negative is common to both of them we hold negative y squared we differentiate x squared the derivative of x squared is 2x and this is equal to 0 so simplifying this and this we have these first two terms maintain um, negative x squared times 2y will give us negative 2x squared y dy dx minus 2xy squared equal to 0 so I am looking at uh, the terms with the y dx these two terms with the y dx I can factorize them since the y dx is common to both of them I bring out the y dx even though y is common I'm just interested in the y dx so we now have it as 3y squared minus 2x squared y then we take this to the right hand side the terms without the y dx we take this negative term first that will give us uh, equal to 2xy squared then taking this to the right hand side gives minus 3x squared then we go ahead to make the y dx the subject of the formula here so we now have the y dx is equal to the right hand side divide by what we have inside this bracket here and that gives the derivative of the function in problem 1b the problem has been implicitly differentiated so we go to problem 2 in problem 2 we have given x squared y plus xy squared equal to 2xy plus 5 find the y dx by differentiating implicitly so um, differentiating term by term I pick the first term um, the derivative of this will be done by product rule since this is product of two functions x squared and y so we hold x squared find the derivative of y which gives the y the x then we now hold y and differentiate x squared which gives 2x we add on with this derivative so we go to the next term which is also product of two functions so we hold x differentiate y squared that gives 2y the y the x then we now hold y squared differentiate x will give us a 1 then we go to the right hand side the first term on the right hand side there is 2xy so we hold 2x differentiate y will give us a, the y the x since this 2 is common to both of them so we are holding 2y and uh, differentiate x which gives uh, 1 so we now collect the terms with the y the x on the left hand side and the other terms to the right hand side as we are collecting the terms with the y the x we factor out the y the x so the first term with the y the x is this x squared the y the x so we keep the x squared the next term is this so we keep the 2xy and uh, since this one is on the right hand side bringing it to this side this becomes minus 2x then on the right hand side we have a 2y there we take this to the right hand side it becomes minus 2xy and take this to the right hand side we have minus y squared then the next thing is to divide both sides by what we have inside this uh, bracket here so that the y dx becomes the right hand side divided by x squared 
plus 2xy minus 2x this is the implicit differentiation of this function in problem 2 and the y dx is given here so we go to the third problem in example 3 we are to differentiate implicitly root x plus root y equal to 2 with respect to x um, before we go further for easy differentiation we have to express these as index form so root x is x to the power of half and root y is y to the power of half equal to 2 now to differentiate this first term here we bring the power which is half bring in the x and uh, reduce the power by one so half minus one gives negative uh, half plus bring the power of this we have half then y reduce the power by one we have negative uh, half then the y the x then the derivative of this constant here is zero so the whole thing is equal to zero then um i am going to keep this on the left hand side and take this to the right hand side so i have this on the left hand side taking this to the right hand side becomes negative half x to the power of negative uh, half because of this half here which are the coefficient on the left hand side and the right hand side we can multiply through by two this half will go and this half will go we'll be left with negative x raised to power half here and here we'll be left with y raised to power negative half the y dx i can express this y raised to power negative half here as fraction in a radical form so that we now have this uh, negative we make it one over square root of x this half makes this uh, square root the y the x in the same way this is negative one over square root of uh, x multiplying both sides by square root of uh, y we have the y the x equal to square root of y over square root of uh, x um, we have the option of leaving it like this or we can rationalize if we rationalize we have a negative root x y over x or we make it a single root which will give us negative root y over x any of these forms gives the implicit differentiation of the function root x plus root y equal to 2 with respect to x so we have done justice to problem 3 we go to problem 4 for problem 4 we are to differentiate implicitly 1 over root x minus 1 over root y equal to 1 with respect to x so to ease our differentiation again we write this as index form that's going to give us x to the power of negative half minus y to the power of negative half equal to one and uh, from here we can uh, start differentiating term by term to differentiate this x to the power of negative half we keep the negative half here is our x reduce the negative half by one that's negative half minus one gives negative three over two then again on this term we are bringing this negative half here to become positive half with this negative here we have plus half y decrease this by one we have negative three over two then the y the x and the derivative of one is zero so we have this equal to zero we have half here again multiplying through by two this half will go this half will go and uh, taking this to the right hand side and maintaining this on the left hand side 
as we are maintaining it on the left hand side we can write it as uh, 1 over square root of y cube so 1 over square root of y cube the cube is coming as a result of the numerator here and the root is coming as a result of the 2 here has it been we have it as 2 over 3 it would have been cube root of y squared so then the y the x equal to the same way 1 over square root of x cube so this guy coming to this side becomes positive so the indices are equal so they are expressed in the same way multiplying both sides by square root of y cube we have the y this x equal to root y cube over root x cube this is the differential coefficient of the function which has been differentiated implicitly and uh, we can also make it a single root a square root of y cube over x cube that is the end of the solution to problem 4 and invariably this is the end of this uh, tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and also visit the page on our website www.uninabresources.com slash youtube videos to view all the videos on this channel which have been categorized on the page you select a category then you get to the page of the category and click on any of the buttons of your choice it takes you straight to our youtube video also check the description section to this video to get the links to all other videos on differential calculus on our youtube channel until we come your way again goodbye